Just got some good jobs news for tech types today. 100 new jobs are on the way to Dublin. Internet giant Amazon has announced it's adding the new crew to its development center in Kilmainham. Amazon's had a base here since 2005, but they now need more engineers, software developers, and technical managers. The online retailer says they hope to have all the spots filled by the end of the year. Students at two schools stateside are about to be tagged, no, not in the Facebook sense, in the GPS sense. Students at these schools in Texas are being given ID tags which can track their every move and stop the mitching. The tags can also be used to check books out from the library and pay for food in the canteen. Keeping tabs on students doesn't come cheap. They've set the schools back almost 400,000 euro now, milking cows used to mean getting your hands dirty at the crack of dawn, but not anymore. Nope, now there's an other way to do it. A farm in Australia is now using the world's most advanced robotic milking machine. The machine uses robots to milk 24 cows at a time. The first robots wash and dry them, while the second attaches the cups. The machine even knows who's who, thanks to the cow's electronic collar tags. Finding a car parking space in a crowded city could get a whole lot easier. SF Park is a new mobile app being tried out in San Francisco to help drivers find that elusive space. The city's transport agency planted sensors underneath 8,200 spaces around San Fran, which can tell if there's a car parked there or not. The system changes prices according to demand, so higher prices discourage parking in more crowded zones. Here's the techie bit. Every space has a, a parking sensor, and what it is is a magnetometer, something that measures subtle changes in the Earth's magnetic field caused by a big piece of metal like a car. So it tells us in real time um, whether or not a parking space is open or occupied. Now for some it's by the barbie in the back garden, for others it's the beach, but finding the right place to top up your tan just got techie. A bunch of Swedish design students have come up with a concept for the Bright Light app. It uses an algorithm that takes GPS data and identifies the sunniest nearby locations based on building height, season and sun path. They say it would be most useful in big cities where tall buildings block the sun.